Hey guys, it's Jay Snow with World of Warcraft Warlords of Drena Alpha is out, of course, when Wildstar comes out. No surprise, Blizz. No surprise. So, uh, what do you call it? I guess they're doing the beta invites and waves, but you get, if you get an invite in your email, check your battle net first. Never click the link in the email. You probably won't even need it anyway. If there's a link in the email, just avoid it completely. Check your battle net, and it should say World of Drena, and if it doesn't, then it's not there. So I'm going to have to do these ghetto videos until I actually get into the beta, which may be never or unless they have another raptor contest, which I will tell you guys about, because they gave out like 5,000 keys last time, so that's pretty amazing. So here's some of the new UI. So I couldn't get the garrisons, because I couldn't get to fit it on the video screen without it looking all disgusting. So just the toy box. This was very, very needed, because you have all those little toys, especially in MOP. In Valley of the Four Winds, they introduced all those little toys that you can play around with. So now we can all put them into one UI and, and I, I guess not have them in our bags. So thank God. And of course, it'll be more fun to play around with all the toys. So as you can see here, I see some familiar toys like the last relic of Argus that randomly teleports you, uh, the pigskin. I don't know if this is going to be a count wide. I'm kind of hoping so. So maybe that means, like, for example, the last relic of Argus, if you have it on one character, the other character can play with it too. So that should be pretty cool. Next, this is a huge feature. I mean, even though there's already guides online, but it's very nice to have. Now the dungeon journal is more detailed. So what we have here is they separate DPS. They tell you what to look out for for DPS, what to look out for for tanks, and look out for healers. So for example, they clicked Garrosh Hellscream. So for damage dealers, you have to interrupt Farseer cast and kill at least one siege engineer excuse me, per wave. In the realm of Yashar, I think I'm saying that right, defeat all Shah manifestations to prevent Garrosh from gaining energy, so that would, I guess would be an automatic wipe. Damage afflicted players to break damage afflicted players to break touch of Yashar so and interrupt them. Uh, once empowered, whirling corruption spawn minions of Yashar that will gain power if killed near each other. So that means don't kill them near each other. So it's actually pretty uh, I wouldn't say detailed, but it's pretty straightforward. So I think like this would this could actually be useful. I mean, of course, guides on icy veins and other uh, popular World of Warcraft sites will probably still be better, but this is definitely a good step in the right direction. Alrighty, so the last part is the map. So I'll give you the link below just to show you guys a better uh, picture because it's kind of blurry, but I'll try to explain it the best I can. So this is Frostfire Ridge, the beginning of the alpha. Even though I kind of think it's a beta, <laughs> I keep saying beta, but it's really alpha. And what do you call it? So, Frostfire Ridge is the first starting zone for the Horde, and that's where the Alpha is starting, so you can only pick Horde. And here's the quest UI, and here's the map. So, the quest UI, as you can see, now the rewards on the bottom, so it tells you how much XP you can get. Also, notice how low the XP is now, like the XP is really low now, but it probably, you know, scales or whatever. Uh, the reward you will receive, and the amount of gold, and the amount of gold isn't too bad, 35G, so that's not too bad at all. Then if you look to the side it has your quest which and then it has the quest you're on and then bonus objectives. So I'm guessing some normal quests might have some bonus objectives. So maybe you can get an extra reward. But unfortunately the UI doesn't seem to say if there's an extra reward that you can get. Also I think that says Frost yeah it also has a reputation bar on the top, I think that is. I can barely see it unfortunately. Crappy picture, but this is ghetto warlords of Draenor coverage. <laughs> So I thank you guys for watching as always. As more screenshots come out, I will let you know. And of course, if I actually get into the damn beta, we won't have to do any more of these ghetto, uh, what do you call it, reviews or whatever you want to call them. So thanks for watching as always. Subscribe for more Warlords of Draenor Alpha. And I'll see you guys next time.